Well, we've had an unexpected delivery today. Some came in a little bit early for the movie theater. So we're gonna unbox it, set it up, see what it looks like, and do a short review. Well, I underestimated the weight of these things. The FedEx lady, she just grabbed them suckers up and just put them on the front porch. I'm thinking, well, they must not be very heavy. Anyway, we're gonna cut this bad boy open and see what we got. All right, so some of the reviews on, on YouTube talk about not having a massage feature. Some do, some don't, but well, these actually do. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how much we paid for it, where we ordered it from exactly. But this has a massage feature. I mean, it's got a remote. It's got the uh, plug that I just dropped. See how good it works. Not quite sure, but uh, so far we're impressed. Hopefully these things are comfortable. All right, so I don't feel like putting this together down here and then trying to take the whole chair all the way upstairs. So that was the unboxing. Now we're gonna unbox the other one, take everything up all the way upstairs in sections. And there's plenty of people sitting around behind the camera right now. I'm gonna recruit to have me help carry all this stuff upstairs.
All right, with all of my much needed help, we got all the pieces of the chairs upstairs. So welcome back to the movie theater. Uh, we're excited because we've been using these gaming chairs that just sit on the floor. They're not that comfortable. So now, at least we have two chairs now that we can use for us to sit in when the kids are here because we're going to still make the kids sit on the floor. But we're using this as a test to see if the super cheap Amazon chairs are going to be good enough uh, to be able to buy a whole bunch of them to put in the movie theater room for people to sit in. A couple of reasons why we got them, of course, they're cheap. If you have priced movie theater seats, they are very expensive. On top of that, they're really wide, they got big fluffy arms and things like that, and they take up a lot of room. With these, we can put more people in here and hopefully it'll be comfortable, hopefully they'll work right. Supposedly, you can put them together with no tools. So, we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. What we've done here is so difficult to see because everything is black. Yes, Selena, if you would point. We've got the remote plugged in for the back massager that I didn't even know we had. You run the wire in between the part that we just installed, which is the top piece, into the bottom piece. Plugs in right there. Then plug the power outlet, or not the outlet, the cable, into the chair, run it out. We're gonna put this um, back flap, if you wanna call it that, the back flap, not back fat. Move it on down. They'll throw it in place. The top is adjoined to the bottom, believe it or not. Now for the side view, has brackets here for the side padding. It's supposed to just slide into place. Yeah, it does. We got them backwards. There you go. That's typical, just like the HDMI cable. Oh, that was good. <laughs> you get it? Yep. You should have. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should do this side thing. <laughs> you didn't get yours on. It was sitting there. There it goes. You didn't get yours on. Alright, so believe it or not, the chair is done. It's just that easy. No tools to put it together. Everything slides together. So now, we're going to have Selena try it out. See if it works. Well, as you can see already, it's a hit with the family. Selena's going through all the massage functions. Um, some of the complaints I saw on Amazon are these side pieces here. For somebody that's got really broad shoulders, it kind of squishes their shoulders in, but it's a simple fix. You saw how we put them on. I had difficulty, she didn't. Just slide these back up, and then it's no problem. 
slide them out of the way. And if you want to take the brackets off, it looks like just a couple screws. Take the screws out after you pull these off, the brackets come right off and doesn't look bad. Um, my shoulders do hit. I really don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. If it is, we can just take them off. So, find to build the second one. You don't really have to watch that video. I'm not going to make it a video because there's no need, right? No need! But we're going to put these suckers side by side, see how many we can get in here. Right now we just got two. You know what I'm saying, when I'm done, if we like them. Anyway, all right. Thanks for tuning in. You got anything you want to say, Buzz? No good. You got anything you want to say? No good. Okay, bye-bye. Now Ethan's enjoying the chair. Something I forgot to mention is, uh, you know, we have the riser. So I'm not going to put the legs on these chairs. That's why I didn't have them in the video. Because we want these chairs to be as low as possible. And the only issue that I see that's causing is not a big issue. Is sometimes it's a little hard to get the foot to come out because it's kind of rubbing on the carpet a little bit. Still not a major issue. I can feel that thing massaging his back from here. But as you can see, I haven't put the second one together yet. Side by side, look at how close you can put these chairs. So if you have a limited amount of space or you just want to put a lot of people in a space like we want to do, these things are perfect for that. It's got pockets on the side, but obviously you can't use the pockets if you have them side by side like this. The only thing I think we might have a problem with, and that's going to be drinks. Where are people going to be able to put their drinks? So probably what I'm going to do is get something that slides onto the arm to hold their drink. I don't know. There's plenty of options out there. Listen, if SpaceX can put people on the International Space Station, then we can figure out where to put drinks, yeah. right? So I said goodbye earlier. You know that that was it, but that's not going to be the end of the video. I forgot we're going to do price and aggravation, assembly, comfort, all that kind of stuff in this video. So that's what we'll do next. My bad. All right, so now it's time to talk numbers. They are comfortable. You like them? Mm -hmm. Like the chairs? Ethan like the chairs, massage function. Who would have thought a chair this small, a chair this cheaply priced would actually be comfortable? easy to put together and have a massage function. So I told you I'd tell you how much we paid for them. Now they have cheaper options, but I guess one of the extra things we paid for was the massage function, but also is just the way the chair looks. We like the way these look a little bit better than the uh, little bit mildly priced chairs. A lot of it is the red striping, but with two chairs, uh, we have Amazon Prime, but these did not have free shipping, probably because they're so big. I don't know. Um, these were bought the summer of 2020, and the total was $323.96 for two chairs. So when you figure that in as far as um, um, movie theater seats, the full size from the big one, a lot of those you're going to pay $800 to $1,000 per chair. Now you can get uh, discounts for buying a whole set, stuff like that, eh, but still they're very expensive. By far, if you've done your research, the most expensive part of a, of a home built home theater system, I'm saying home built, which means the homeowner is going to do it. The most expensive part, if you're going to build your screen, you're going to do good on the projector, uh, your sound system is going to be decent, nothing too extravagant. The most expensive part is going to be the seats. So I believe this is going to be a good option. We're going to get some good use out of them. We're going to sit in them for a while, give it a couple weeks. And if we're still happy with them, we're going to order a whole bunch. We're going to fill this whole area with seats. So as far as the numbers, was that all I was going to talk about? What was the price? So. <laughs> Nothing else. I may have made a promise to them and forgot Probably. what I was going to say. Oh, well, I'll make it up to you. If you have any questions, drop a comment, ask questions, like and subscribe if you don't, if you want to. If you don't want to, whatever. We'll still live.
You want them to like and subscribe? Yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you later.